Hi, and thank you so much for purchasing a 4th Street Creative template. This is the walkthrough for the Urban IG Post template. And when you purchase, you're going to be directed to a page that will look like this, and you're going to hit Use Template, which will open it into your own Canva account. If you don't have a Canva account, make sure to head over to canva.com, set it up, and then open the template. It will open directly into your Creative Space, um, into your own Canva account, I should say. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is file, make a copy. And the reason why you're going to want to do this is because as you're designing, you may make mistakes or do something that artistically just doesn't look that great. And if you have a copy, then you can just simply open up that copy and um, start the whole process over again without having to download the file again from Etsy. So once you're finished doing that, it's time to start putting your own touch onto these templates. There are 10 variations. Um, eight listing templates and two quote templates and you can use these any way that you like and I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is upload your photos into the design. So upload an image or video is under this tab, uploads, upload an image or video and wherever you have your listing photos you will head over to that folder and then upload it into Canva. I'll, I already have photos here that I'm going to use for the demonstration, so I'm not going to go through that process. Uh, once your photos have uploaded, you're going to want to grab the one that you want to use and head over to the image box right here. If it's not popping into place, that's most likely because I have locked the image. To unlock it, you just head up there, and I'm going to explain why I've locked it in a moment. So I'm going to head over here and Oh, it just popped right into place. And that's what it should do. If it doesn't, again, look for the lock symbol. And the reason why I've locked it on some of the images and why I'm going to relock it again is because in Canva, when you have two image boxes or three layers of images, what happens is when you try to move one around, this happens. It tries to knock out the photo behind it. Um, and we don't want that to happen. So in order to make the design process a little simpler, you just once you put the photo that you want in place, you just head over to the lock button and that way you can move the image files that are above it all over without having to worry about it knocking out the one behind it. Now, when this is unlocked, you might not like the way that it's situated in the design. A lot of uh, photos, most listing photos, are actually um, horizontally laid out versus square. They're longer, they're rectangular. Uh, so you can just move it around in the box by clicking, double clicking on the image box and that'll open up the editor and you can move it around to make sure that it's situated the way that you'd like. The next thing to note is font. If you have your own brand fonts, by all means you can use those. You just highlight the text, head over to the text box, the font box, and you can edit, you can change the font, whichever is your brand font. Uh, I have, we have designed these templates to have complementary fonts, so these two fonts work very well together. So if you don't need to change it, please keep it the same. They, they look great together, but again, you can change it if you'd like. Um, another thing to note is color. You can highlight any element of this design and change the color. Great feature of Canva is that it'll take colors directly from the photo. So if you don't have brand colors and you want to accentuate the photos that you're uh, putting onto Instagram, this is a great option right here. And you can see that that looks fantastic because it's grabbing the browns from this photo. Um, another thing to note is the coloring of the boxes themselves. So right now we have a white background here. Again, maybe we want to take colors from the photo and then change this to a lighter color and that looks fantastic. These are things that you can play around with yourself with your own listings or you can literally just use these templates as is, drop your own photos, change the wording and call it a day. Um, another thing to note are the overlays. So you have 10 overlays included with this template design and you're going to access those by going to upload an image or video the overlays photo that came with the file and you have 10 overlays. You can select them all and open and they'll all upload into your Canva account. Um, this is good to note because if you have a photo, oh, it's locked. 
it's not letting me pop it in. If you have a photo that's, mm, that's not a good example. Let me see. Maybe this one? Yeah. Okay, so if you have a photo that's pre predominantly white, but you want to use this overlay, but you see that the white box doesn't really complement it, that's where the overlays come in. So you've uploaded all these overlays, and you can either use this one that has the two rectangles on it, and we can just slide that into place. All right, and now you can see the black box. Or... You can just do the, rec the square and change just the square, okay? okay. Oh, as I said before, it's better to lock the photo once you've chosen it. Okay, great. So now I'm going to use this square overlay on this design, but it looks it doesn't look that great because it's cutting off my font choices here. So what I'm going to do is on a Mac control, click on your mouse, and you're just going to send backwards. Um, you can also do that by going to position. Okay, and one more thing um, to note is uh, you have these optional icons to use in your design. So if you want to tell your audience how many beds, baths, and parking spots there are, this is a great way to do it. So these will be, you can locate these in the icons folder that was included in your file. And I'm just going to click on the one that I want to use. This is way too big, so I'm going to take the corner and drag it down to the size that I want, about that size. Okay. And you're going to find a spot in the photo where it works. So this is where this one works. Again, I'm going to drag that down to size. And, and that's it. Okay, so now I have all these elements. One, yeah. Okay, so now I have all these elements. Space them apart a little bit. And then I'm going to add a text box by just hitting T on my keyboard, and that brings up the text box. So I'm going to put the, the amount of bedrooms there. It's still a bit too big. This is all personal preference, so whatever you like to do. I like it a little bit smaller than the actual icon. So I move that over, move this one over. I wonder if you can do it this way. Yes, so just right click on your mouse and that is actually a great way to copy and then paste. And bring it into your document that way. You want space between everything so that it doesn't look too cramped and crowded. So that looks really good to me, so I'm going to leave it there. And that's it. For the quote files, I've also included ones that already have the quote in place. So if that works better for you, if you're making your own designs later, or if you want to add another, um, if you want to add another frame here, you can add a new page. And this is where these come in handy because then you don't need to copy over all of the design elements. I have made sure that I've provided these elements as free moving elements so you can change them you can change the positioning of them as you wish also the quotes you can change these quotes as well what I've done stylistically was to make the first word especially because it's home and you want to draw people's attention to that uh, I've made it larger so that's something to think about when you're bringing in your own quotes into these designs you might want to play around with font sizing where you make one word twice the size of the other words um, and then that's it. If you if you're done, you're satisfied with all your designs, you've tweaked them and changed them, then you hit download. And Canva's really great at choosing the right file that needs to be downloaded. So PNG is perfect for Instagram. And you're gonna hit download. And this is gonna download all 10 of the frames at once. And once it's done downloading, you head over 
transfer to that download folder and you send it to yourself however you would send over images for Instagram normally. So either whether that's Google Drive or Dropbox or um, AirDrop or emailing it to yourself, whichever is your preferred method, that's how you would go about doing that. And that's it. Thanks again for purchasing a Forestry Creative template. And if you need more help, we have a large resource library located at forestrycreative.com forward slash tutorials. Happy designing.